Okay, so welcome back to Thunderscape. So, last time we started exploring these uh, sewers after the <clears throat> um, the catacombs level, and we found the elusive third merchant of in the game, and we also um, managed to find a couple of keys. Now, there is a stream of water over here and a system of gates. System of gates and basically what these levers will do is they will allow us to manipulate this gate system in here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that the light blue means that the gate is open and the dark blue means that it's locked. So... Let's see if we can flip some switches. Hmm. We'll make a save here. Just a little test where the water will take us now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think that's where we we want to reach that place, but because oh, I think there's a lever in there that will. Stream of water is yeah the physics in this game oh boy um We might have to reload because I'm kind of stuck here. Whoa. You know what? Let's reload. Let's see. 
another combination. here. Well, that's not good. Yes, yes, oh yes. Now this is definitely where we want to go. Where we want to be. Oh. Yeah, we shall open that one. And finally some combat, so I'll just get into our combat routines. Fight some sewer rats. That's some cycles. Otherwise, the combat is a little too slow. potions. We probably don't. Which is of course okay, we do. Oof. Oh, we almost fell down. Which, well, I suppose we did have a save, so we could have reloaded, but still. again. Button over here. Opens the gate. Uh. 
that. Hello, Mr. Rex. Sewer Rex. The engine room key. Now, this is definitely what we needed it from. This is what we need to proceed. Chain legs. Well, I'm pretty sure men I chain is than um mithril plate. Cut down the cycles. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, I think we made it. Yeah. Yeah, not drop another save. We got the engine room key. Got the engine room key and we got the manite plate. Activating the generator that powers the bridge. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the way up. Climb. That's the storage room. Now, this is a bridge that we want to raise. Oh, zombie. Oh, there's a lot of them. A lot of these guys. Oh. Okay, let's fight zombies. Reduce our inventory. Who's war? Store 
search area number two. Just try to find the engine room now. Yeah, this this is definitely the place for. That's the engine room over there. Chazil, oh, it's like Archon leveled. Yeah, just keep moving that axe and May skill and cast spell skill slow. <laughs> Generator room. Yeah, there's the bridge key over here. We'll need this as well. And let's see. Yeah, Philo was carrying Man I plate. Place it in here. With one of the plates removed, the engine is unable to generate power. You place the manat plate in the engine. Boop. And then flip the switch. With the plate replaced, the engine begins to run. Keys fit this lock. Mm. Bridge key. down from here should probably reduce the cycles maybe to 10%
rats, rats, rats. Just a little bit of healing on that guy. You open that. That or it raises the gate. Yeah, you kind of need to have Save. Ouch. Oof. trying to figure out if I actually if I forgot something more uh, rats zombies Be get behind us. We will never know. Uh, oh. Oh man. Yeah, we have the bridge key. So. Let's see. Check these storages carefully. Because it seems we are missing each I think the key was called something like the old key but where to find it <clears throat> just have to check these 
Oh no, that actually goes back to the sewer level. Hmm. Ah, confusing. Dagger, morning star. This is the storage where we found the manite plate. Potion of mana. Which is all fine and good. But it's not gonna help us. This is gonna be fun. To try to find. I mean, yeah, of course, we'll double check these storage areas. But still. Man, it's annoying. Cheap chest, some gold. Oh, huh. doesn't seem to be here. Check these places. I mean, I have on previous playthroughs gone through these areas multiple times, but for the life of me, I cannot remember. Where I'm supposed to find the key to that. Hmm. That, uh, I mean, I th think it's called Old Bridge Key that opened that, that gate. Oh, man. Then like it. I mean, this really is the part when you're supposed to be able to just kind of open that gate because the bridge is already raised, and then you know proceed to the next section, but. Oh man. Storage area number two. Fortunately, I don't have any clear recollections where to find that key. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the shop. This is the shop area. Now it's just a matter of um, try to check these areas again and again and again and again. Oof, oof. Da -de -da -de -da. really feels that I'm just kind of running in circles in here which I am <laughs> am I sure I didn't miss anything in this room? I mean yes there was a key in here we already picked that. I think we're gonna have to stop it for now and I'll have to figure out what to do next maybe do some off no off screen exploration of this place see if I can find the missing key and well if I find it then we'll record and we'll continue so next time hopefully I will have found a solution to this and then and then yes I will then well we'll see you next time okay bye okay so we are back we actually managed to locate the missing key 
was in one of the storage room that I hadn't been to yet. It was the storage room number one, which is actually right, right close to the place where we entered this dungeon section. And so yes, here it is. Old Sewers Bridge Key. Right. Oh, by the way, while searching for this, we actually leveled. Uh, pretty much everyone has now leveled, and then uh, <clears throat> Turok actually got her spell casting above 200 this level, so she learned now the Raise Dead spell. <laughs> Okay, now, all right, yeah, we don't, we don't want to go there. Now it's just, yeah, this is the engine room. Just have to find our way back to the bridge. Oh, yeah, this. Alright, my cycles are quite low. Oh yes, I think now we will be able to open this. Use the bridge and this is then the bridge. Okay, but I think for now we'll just stop, we'll stop for now. Next time when we come back we'll continue exploring what uh, the rest of these sewer levels and actually after we finish the sewers we'll be able to already uh, reach the Radiant Citadel the outskirts of the Radiant Citadel, so we are already kind of getting, clo getting close on the final levels of the game. Of course, the Radiant Citadel is a huge, complex set of levels on its own, but I think we're getting there. So, I think, see you next time. Bye.